Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So this story takes place back in my grade nine year. This was my grade nine year, and I remember I was just kind of like getting into high school. I was still a freshman, you know, vibing out, chilling, doing my own thing. And me being a freshman, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really into the whole F boy scene. So I kind of got what I could get in high school, which is, well, it sounds really desperate, but honestly, some people will understand if you understand me out there. Anyways, going on, me being a grade nine and a freshman and desperate to get girls and kind of understand girls, it really sucked because most girls that like I really wanted to talk to well they were too good for me well at least that's what I thought I don't know I always felt like there was like a scale of what girls you could get in high school and what girls you can't and sometimes you just have to go with a five because you're like a three I don't know it was a science that I made up in my head but in reality I mean I don't know like when I got to grade 10 things totally changed after that because I learned the secret way to get girls and I will tell you guys that secret in a future video but going on with the story I remember in our school there was a winter dance coming up and I remember me wanting to pull a girl to get to the winter dance was harder than it looked me knowing I looked really ugly in grade nine but you know not ugly enough to the point where not every girl would say no to me kind of sucked because i was limited to my options so i remember i was walking up to a friend that was a theater kid and he was kind of cringy and weird not gonna lie it's funny because in the future he ended up coming out as gay towards me and saying he liked me but other than that i remember i went up to him i'm like bro like who are you taking to the school dance bro like i have no idea who i'm gonna take to this winter dance and he told me oh i don't know man like i was kind of just debating on going with all the boys because like you know it would be kind of cool to just go like all the guys you know like why do we need girls anyway? Oh no, he basically tried to make me feel better. At least I think so. And he was just basically trying to like talk to me and stuff, trying to like figure out like what would be a good idea. So I remember I told him, nah, bro, like I need to make sure I take a girl this winter dance, bro. It's my first year in high school. I can't mess this up. He looked at me, he's like, dude, okay, fine. You know what? What if I told you there was a girl out there? Not many girls are asking her to dance, and she's actually pretty attractive, but apparently people think she's psycho. I remember I looked at him like, who? Like, who's this chick? Like, you know, maybe she's crazy in like the freaky way. Because you know, like some girls are just freaky when they're doing the dude. Tango. And he told me, oh, like, she's like, I think she's like in the corner in the office area. If you like go down the hallway, you might see her just sitting in the corner on just on her phone. So I remember I ended up walking up to her. And basically when I walked up to her, I saw her like kind of like sitting there and she looked up at me from her phone. She like just looked up and she's like, what do you want? And I kind of looked at her. I'm like, hey, like, what's up? My name's Bubba. Like, how you doing? She looked at me and then she looked back at her phone and just totally ignored me. And I'm like, okay, no, I am not losing this today. So I remember I ended up sitting right beside her and I'm like, uh, so like, like, what are you doing? What you watching? She looked at me. She's like, a really good show. And when I remember when I looked at her phone, she was watching Twilight, except she would always rewind the scene where it was some guy drinking another person's blood. And she would just rewind it over and over and over as if it was some kind of like freaky stuff going on. So I remember I'm like, oh, is that like your favorite scene? It's pretty cool. I, I, I kind of like the guy from Twilight. He was shark boy, wasn't he? She looks at me. She's like, I don't really care for the movie. I just care for this part. Like, what's your issue? What do you want? And I kind of told her like, well, well, I mean, like, you know, I think you're kind of hot and like, I don't know, I kind of just want your Snapchat. Me trying to be smooth with it. She looked at me and she's like, uh, really? And I'm like, yeah, like, why not? So I ended up getting her Snapchat and basically I stood up and walked away. And from there, I ended up sending her Snapchats and basically me and her started talking. When me and her started talking, for some reason, out of nowhere, she would always send me photos and like videos of like basically vampire stuff, hearts beating, surgery videos. Like, it was just really awkward. And me, I thought she maybe wanted to be like a surgeon or something. Thing. But in reality, I don't know. She something was really off about her. And then I remember one time I asked her, "Hey, like, do you want to maybe like hang out sometime to you know maybe get to know each other more before I asked her out to the winter dance?" And she's like, "Oh yeah, like sure, I'm down." So I remember me and her we ended up walking and taking a walk together. And I basically walked her home because we didn't know really where to go. Like I was a freshman, I didn't have my car, nothing. So like you know what was I gonna do? Remember as me and this girl were walking home and stuff, literally out of nowhere, and I mean out of nowhere, I ended up hitting my foot on kind of like the sidewalk, like. Like, you guys know, like, how in the sidewalk, like, there's, like, those lines? I don't really know. It's just something that all sidewalks have. Basically, I ended up hitting my foot on, like, the very edge of that. And basically, I ended up falling down really badly and ended up having, like, a cut on, like, my hand. Kind of, like, near the palm area. And I remember, I'm like, oh, like, that hurts. And she looked at me and she's like, uh-oh. And when she saw the blood coming out of my arm, she ended up, like, basically, I don't know, her eyes kind of just glue. I don't know. It was so weird, but, like, because, like, her eyes were, like, glued to my, like, hand that was bleeding and she was like wide eyes open she was just kind of like mesmerized about my blood and i remember i was just like kind of like holding and covering it up and then after that i'm like oh like don't worry about this like i'll take care of this and she's like oh like i can take you to my house and i'm like oh like are we far no it's like just a block away like you'll be fine is what she told me so i remember i'm like oh okay like sure i'll just walk with you then i ended up walking with her all the way to the house and basically when we got there i remember i told her like go get me a band-aid she went she got a band-aid and she saw the thing was bleeding like a decent amount 
So she's like, do you want me to help you clean that up for you? And me thinking she was going to get a cloth, she ended up grabbing my wrist and straight up putting it into her mouth and literally licking my blood off my hand. Warning, this video does get disgusting. I should have probably said that earlier, but yeah, it was legitimately the most Jeffrey Dahmer, scary, gross thing I've ever seen in my life. I remember I was like really disgusted. I kind of was like, whoa, okay, what are you doing? Like you get AIDS from that, bro. Or I think HIVs. I don't know. I said one of those things. And she looked at me. She's like, mm, you're kind of sweet. You want to like come closer? So she ended up pulling me in and she basically like wanted me to kiss her after that. But me, I should have just pushed her back. I'm like, whoa, like you need to chill out, dude. Like, are you serious right now? She started like kind of like being like all upset with me. She's like, why don't you want to like just hang out with me? Just come closer. And she kept trying to push me towards her. But I kept telling her, yo, you need to like chill out, dude. Like you literally just drank blood from my hand. You need to stop. And then from there, I remember I started heading for her door to leave the house. But then she ended up blocking me, pushing me aside and basically locked the door on me, locking me in. And I'm like, what in the world is this girl doing? So I remember she's like, oh, just come up to my room. Like, I won't be weird anymore. I swear. Now, I think most people in this moment would just be like, no, screw it. I'm leaving. But me knowing how desperate I was for the winter dance, I said, you know what? Whatever. Maybe things will get better. I don't know why. I don't know why I did this. I was dumb. I won't do it again. I swear. It was just a one time thing, I think. But going on, I remember me and her, we ended up going upstairs to her room and I laid on her bed and she laid with me. And as this girl kept going closer and closer, I remember I'm like, is it really worth it for me to be here right now? Do I really need this girl to come with me to the winter dance? Now, most people would say yes, but for me, no. No matter how hot this girl was, knowing that she literally just drank my blood and was obsessed with blood, basically, and drinking it, I literally just kind of like said, you know what? Like, I really got to go. So what I ended up doing is I literally ended up opening her window, jumped out her window because she was on the first floor and basically just dipped. I ran home. Actually, I first ran to the school, told my friends about it, and they all said, oh, no wonder why she's freaky. And then after that, I ended up running home afterwards. It was the most weirdest experience ever. And to this day, I am still petrified about that. And I don't know, it was just a funny story I remembered back when I was in high school because I was watching Jeffrey Dahmer and all that stuff. But you know, what? at the end of the day, be safe out there. And uh, YouTube, don't demonetize me. I swear I didn't get into detail about it. Okay, before I get into the story, I know what the title looks like. And I want to just tell you guys that no, I did not make this girl bleed. This girl was bleeding on her own. And honestly, it was just a panic shocker for me and most of my classmates. Now, the way the story ended up going off is honestly insane. But before I get into it, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And on top of that, I'm currently live on Twitch. So if you guys do want to watch me live, go click the link down below and watch me. Because seriously, we have more fun in there than here. Now, anyways, guys, like I always say, let's get straight into this crazy story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to an insane story. So this story takes place back when I was in middle school. In middle school, school, I remember being the average kid, not looking that great. And honestly, like I said, I wasn't really a lady puller back in middle school. I think the most I could pull was a kill feed in Call of Duty and maybe a trick shot here or there. But when it came to women, I could not get anything for the life of me. And I remember one time when I was entering my class, I ended up going sitting down as if it was going to be a normal school day, but then something was off. The girl sitting beside me, she was just an average girl. And you know, she's usually quiet when she sits beside me, but today she was pretty, how do I put this? Angry. I don't know what it was, but every time she looked at me, she's like, can you put your hand on your desk? Can you leave me alone? I am working on my homework. Like she had like some sort of attitude switch, which scared the life out of me. Now, before anything, honestly, I want to mention that I don't know anything about, you know, girl hormones. Like at this point, honestly, I just kind of go with the flow and just hope for the best. Like if I were to have a girlfriend anytime soon, honestly, I'm just going to make sure that her hormones are set straight because knowing girls nowadays, man, they could say one thing, but totally mean another. Anyways, I was sitting beside this girl for the entire school day. And I remember when it came to lunchtime, she just instantly ran to the bathroom. I have no idea why. And I remember when she came out, I kind of just went to go check on her and said, Hey, I just want to apologize for what happened at class today. I don't mean to annoy you. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. She looked at me. She's like, I'm fine. Like you don't got to check on me. Okay. I just, I'm just having some stomach aches. And I kind of just said, okay, whatever. I was trying to be a nice guy, but sure. Be, be, be a weirdo. And I ended up leaving. I remember the day went on and I remember PE came up. If you guys don't know what PE plays, it's basically, you know, playing sports or playing some kind of thing. And I remember when we were playing PE, this girl was upset. She was mad. She was angry and she had fumes going through her head like there was no tomorrow. And I remember when we were playing the game ball hockey, if you guys don't know, I'm Canadian. So hockey is like a big deal here. And we were playing ball hockey. And I remember, dude, this girl was just pissed. Like, like she was body checking people in ball hockey in middle school. I don't know where she got this idea from. I get, I think her one of her like siblings played hockey, but she was pissed. And I don't know why. Like, like I was like, dude, this girl needs to calm down. I remember going with my teacher saying, yo, like you should probably like take her off the court. Like she seems pretty pissed off. I remember the teacher looks at me and he's like, yeah, you're probably right. You should probably take her off. So I remember the teacher ended up going up to the girl and saying, okay, hey, you should probably go sit on the bench. The girl looked directly at me with like these menacing 
eyes as if she was gonna tear my head off piece by piece and make me eat it and basically just like i don't know it, it was just terrifying i've never seen more anger in a girl than this girl she goes and sits down and i remember i had to go sit down beside her because we were both benched and she looks at me she's like shouldn't have done that you're seriously like such a weirdo like seriously what is your problem with me i thought you apologized but now you're just being more of a jerk honestly i don't know even know why your parents gave birth to you jeez talk about being a bully eh i don't know i was just kind of annoyed and i said you know what it's the best for everyone else anyways after pe everyone got changed and i remember this girl ended up wearing a totally different outfit that was pissed off she was wearing like white jeans and like a normal tank top and you guys will figure out why this is a big deal for the story later on but we basically all went to class after pe and i remember we all sat down back in our seating arrangements and then i remember we had english class now in english we usually do nothing special except read and i remember we were all sitting down in our class and our teacher was in the front of the class reading the hobbit to us to this day i never understood how so many dwarves ended up fighting a giant dragon but you know long story short we basically sat down and the book was being read and i remember this girl was just holding on to her stomach that was beside me i look at her and i'm like are you okay and she looks over she's like shut up loser and i was like okay geez damn i'm just trying to help you know i'm just trying to be a good friend and then she looks so like worried and as if something was going wrong i don't know what was going on with this girl i, I don't i couldn't tell if she was gonna explode i couldn't tell if she was gonna give birth like something was off with this girl but then as i started sitting down i remember i ended up kind of looking down and i saw blood now originally i thought it was coming out of me so i remember i checked my leg i checked everything just to see if i got anything from floor hockey and i realized that I'm, i wasn't bleeding then i look over at the girl and i remember seeing her jeans were kind of bloody and i'm like oh my god she's bleeding i remember i stood up i'm like yo are you bleeding kind of like in fear my teacher stops reading the book saying what is going on over there and i remember i'm like dude i, I think she's bleeding she looks over at me she's like i'm not bleeding and then as she stands up i just see blood all over the chair and her enormous peach like it was red it was blood red her pants went from white to red like it was terrifying i was freaking out i was panicking i'm like why is she bleeding was this my fault did i put a pencil up her butt like what did i do i was terrified and i remember i was freaking out panicking and then i remember the teacher looks over she's like oh oh i know this situation as if she's like she's like a professional in blood and i remember there were a couple girls laughing in the class i don't know why they were laughing they were being big jerks on that one but me i was panicking i'm like where are you bleeding where do i put this band-aid we need first aid like i was panicking my life off i i didn't know what to think guys i i don't like remember at this time middle school i wasn't focused on women i didn't understand the terms of women bleeding and me trying to figure out where the hell this girl was bleeding from i i couldn't tell i couldn't i thought she probably had like a hole in her butt or something i mean she does but i mean you guys know what i mean i was just majorly panicking and i didn't know what to do i remember the girl ended up standing up and she just like i see like you know she was standing up bleeding more and more she just ran to the bathroom the teacher went and followed behind her she ran out of their classroom crying by the way i should mention and i felt bad i didn't know what to think i i thought it was my fault i thought i was the reason why this girl was bleeding i thought that i magically telekinesed her organs to start making her bleed i don't know and then i remember i was so confused and then my teacher another teacher i should probably mention that came to the classroom to help cover up things for the class and clean the blood came in and said baba you gotta understand women bleed in certain times of the season i look at him i'm like what is it for like a holiday like like why do women bleed i was confused and then he told me no it's, it's a part of growing up for a woman to start bleeding randomly it's called a period what you're telling me women just bleed randomly like when they want to like is this like a superpower to be honest i thought it was one of those things where like guys pee and like girls bleed like i thought it was one of those things to be honest i didn't understand the science behind it a lot of things changed after a couple months when we ended up getting sex ed in our school or devil's tango ed but i, I will be honest it it's just it just blew my mind to this day i always felt bad about yelling in the middle of the classroom about that girl bleeding and i remember actually one time in high school i ended up seeing her again and saying like apologizing and she ended up laughing saying honestly i just found it kind of funny how much you cared about me and she ended up walking away and yes i do see this girl again and we end up doing the devil's tango luckily she wasn't bleeding that time but all i'm gonna say is that puberty is a serious thing that many people go through i guess guys and girls have it very differently and uh this was my experience of watching that girl bleed and damn girls you guys bleed a lot i'm just gonna mention that right now all right so before the story starts i just want to mention that i am a little under the weather so in any way if my voice sounds different just understand that i am sick but obviously i'm still gonna produce these amazing videos for you guys because obviously i love you guys so much and today's story is something insane but as usual though make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already seriously it means a lot when you guys do and let's just get straight into this insane story yo what is going on you guys my name is bubba and welcome back to another crazy story so today's story takes place back funny enough after my grad year of graduation i was 19 years old and i remember i cut off almost all my friends except a couple people the reason for this is 
because I didn't know what I wanted to be during high school. And I remember after high school, since I had no original plan, I basically ended up just, well, staying at home, doing absolutely nothing and playing video games. Luckily though, I became a YouTuber, which was really cool thanks to you guys. But other than that, I mean, I was mostly just staying at home and any opportunity I got to go hang out with friends. Well, I took it because I was lonely. I remember one time though, my friend decided to come over to my house after not seeing me for a while. And he saw me playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And he looked at me saying, yo, bro, like, do you want to go to this club that's going on? Like, there's a lot of goth girls there. I remember I looked at him and I said, goth girls, you really want to go hang out with some goth girls. And I remember my friend looked at me. He's like, dude, they're basically like emo girls, but like more just scarier. Like, why don't you just go hang out with them? I remember when I told him I had an experience with a goth girl one time, and it was actually one of the most craziest things ever. But then he ended up telling me, dude, like that was like back in like high school. This is like now, dude, like we're out of high school. These girls got to be more normal than before. So I remember when I looked up online, he was showing me that there was a bar that was having a goth night. Basically, when all those people that are emo, goth, or basically just really bad with eyeliner, basically went to this club and basically started meeting people. I remember I looked at him telling him like, bro, like I don't even know how to dress goth. And he basically ended up going inside my closet, pulling out every single black piece of clothing I had and told me to wear it. So obviously after that, I remember I put everything on and I told him, okay, well, I guess we're going. But before we left for the door, I remember he ended up telling me, yo, bro, you forgot to put on some black eyeliner. What is what I told him? And I remember when he pulled out the eyeliner out of his pocket, I remember asking him, bro, where in the world did you get that? And he ended up telling me, oh, like my mom gave it to me. I told her it was like for like work. You told her you got eyeliner for work? I don't know. I don't know what this kid was on, nor did I want to know what he was on. But basically I remember we ended up walking to my car because my mom found it weird that we were putting on makeup in her house. And I remember me and him, we ended up putting on the eyeliner in the car. When we put it on, I remember, I remember looking at myself thinking this is the most dumbest idea ever. Cause I literally looked like a drag queen that had no career whatsoever. But then I remember I ended up driving me and him to the club. And when we got there, I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of goth people actually at that club. And as I looked around, I remember seeing the main common thing that most goth people wear are spikes that are silver and really ugly on their belts or shoes. And on top of that, everyone had black eyeliner and something to do with a skull on some part of their clothing. Like it was actually really depressing looking at that. And I'm not going to lie. I'm really happy. I'm not goth to this day. And if you were goth and watching this video, can you please tell me what in the world did the spikes and skull mean? Like, what is the meaning behind this? Anyways, I remember afterwards, me and my friend, we ended up going up to the bar and basically started getting ourselves a drink. I ended up just drinking a Corona and then he ended up drinking some kind of sweet powdery drink that honestly looked really girly. But then afterwards, me and him, we just started sitting down drinking. And as we were drinking, I remember two girls were sitting beside us that just kind of looked at us really awkwardly. They looked at us and said, oh, like, what's your favorite type of music? Um, heavy metal? Is what I ended up telling her and right as I said that I remember she ended up putting a smile on her face thinking that I am actually somewhat attractive I have no idea why heavy metal is like the main music that goth people listen to so the only reason I said heavy metal was because that's all that was playing at the club so I remember when I told her that she was really excited and told me oh my goodness like I love so many heavy metal bands like they're so cool um all right is what I said and me not actually knowing any heavy metal bands I kind of just ended up pretending I knew what she was talking about like you know I was doing the occasional oh yeah cool okay that's awesome you know like really awkwardly just saying random words but then afterwards i remember the other girl that was sitting beside her looked at me and said oh like do you have like any tattoos and i remember i looked at my friend and i'm like uh you know because i don't know what they're expecting out of me but then right as i'm like looking at my friend i remember this girl ends up walking up to me and actually grabbing my wrist and pulling down my sleeve i don't know if she was trying to do a wrist check but i remember when i looked at her i'm like what are you doing and then she saw my batman tattoo i have on my wrist and yes i do actually have a batman tattoo on my wrist. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you haven't, uh, go follow me on Instagram and I'll probably post it on my story there. But still, I remember she looked at it and said, oh my goodness, like that is actually so cool. You have a bat on your wrist? That's so gothy. It's Batman. Uh, never mind is what I ended up saying because apparently she didn't recognize the Batman logo. Like, how do you not recognize the bat symbol? Like, who are you? But I remember after that, these girls were like basically attached to us and we ended up basically drinking with them. They ended up buying me drinks because they thought I was cute, which I have no idea how because Black Island does not suit me and I remember me and her were basically just flirting back and forth and one thing led to another she said that we should go do something fun now I don't know what goth people do for fun but I'm telling you this right now if going to go get a tattoo is considered fun I don't like it I remember me and this girl we ended up basically leaving the club and I left my friend there with the other chick because the other chick was pretty lame and basically what ended up happening was that me and her once we got in my car she told me oh like let's go to like the tattoo parlor I want to get something special um okay is what I ended up saying so I ended up driving her to the tattoo parlor. And when I did, I remember she literally walked up to the counter and this guy who works there apparently already knew her. And literally she ended up saying, oh, like I need another skull on my 
arm. What? Another skull? I don't know, dude. It was super weird. And I remember I just kept looking at the guy and looking at her and thinking, there's no way that she's getting a tattoo right now, right after we got like out of the club. Like I know like the common joke of like, you know, people getting drunk and then going to a tattoo parlor and getting a tattoo. But this was like a whole different level. Like she was goth, right? Like does she like need one regularly? But then afterwards, I remember she looked at me and she ended up taking off her top in front of me. And she like full on like took out her cherries. Like no joke. She took off her bra for something that was supposed to go on her arm. But I mean, it's whatever. And I remember she ended up sitting down on the chair and I'm not going to lie. She had really nice cherries. So I got bricked and she recognized that. And then she told me, oh, like after this tattoo, we can go do some like more fun if you want. Uh, sure. Is what I ended up telling her. So she ended up getting a tattoo. And then afterwards, we ended up going back to her apartment. She lived in a really sketchy apartment. And I'm not going to lie to you. It was like one of those like really ghetto apartments that most people that were, well, I think like little to broke live in. Not trying to be a bad person here, but you know, like you got to have some social standard, right? But anyway, she ended up basically showing me around her apartment and I was really disgusted. Like I never knew ramen could sit for more than like two weeks opened that was already cooked. I, I don't know. It was gross and it smelled like mold. But basically, I remember she ended up turning on her speaker. She ended up basically taking off her clothes and told me, well, like, let's go have some fun in the bed. And like, she had like plastic wrap on like her new tattoo that she got. So I remember I kind of like tried to avoid like touching there. And basically, long story short, me and her, we ended up doing the devil's tango. But things got even worse. I remember as we're like doing it and basically doing the devil's tango. Out of nowhere, for some reason, she ended up cutting me somehow. I don't know if it was from her really sharp nails that she had but I basically got a cut on my eggplant and um, the next minute this girl was being a vampire and sucking the blood out of my yeah you know what YouTube don't demonetize this video I'm not actually not gonna say anything more about it but you guys kind of get the gist I was really disgusted and I did not know what to do and I remember I looked at her thinking what in the world are you doing and I ended up basically getting up going to the bathroom and I saw that she had a band-aid there so I ended up putting a band-aid on my eggplant and telling her you literally just cut me she ended up saying yeah and you're like tastes delicious as she like, she made like a really weird smucking sound with her mouth. I have no idea, but I remember after that, I really want to get out of there. So I remember I ended up telling her that I had something to go do. And basically I remember I ended up putting on all my black clothing on that I had on originally and basically ended up leaving. When I left, I remember she ended up waving at me in the most weirdest way possible. And basically I ended up going home. When I got home, I remember I went to the bathroom and tried to take a waz, but it really sucked because my eggplant kept bleeding. And it was like that for like, I want to say three days. I got to say one thing for sure though. Those girls were naturally freaky and I I really don't find the appeal in those goth girls anymore. But anyways, guys, that's basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I always say, if all more embarrassing stories, peace out, guys.